welcome back friends and family today since you guys like all my other lowrider of the year videos i was thinking today i feature lowrider magazine december 1989 with you guys i'm gonna make a whole series about 90s lowriders like strictly business penthouse and lethal weapon so today we see on the cover Mario Martinez Lethal Weapon, which made Lowrider of the Year, 89 and 90. And a couple of years ago, this car showed up in a very bad stage. And I want to maybe clear things up and give you guys a little bit more input. Because everybody posts those pictures on Instagram and all of those, those social medias. And it looks bad and I know and recently someone said that now the car is back on the west coast and someone is just using it as a parts car to build a dunk. Now I don't really believe that's true but I want to go into some of the other rumors okay. So before I just gonna st like start rambling about this I, I gonna post some pictures of how it showed up a couple of years ago i think in 2016 it showed up like this and then later we saw photos on instagram and it's bad it's really bad also the brother of the owner or like back then who bought it from the west coast they brought the car to the east coast i think first it was in New Jersey then later someone else bought it from Pennsylvania I'm not really sure maybe I mixed that up but um, the the brother of the guy who bought it back then uh, posted on the loaf uh, forum um, many things that are not so nice and I don't want to take any sides but I just want to say um, one simple thing okay most of the guys get confused because it is a 73 Chevy Monte Carlo. Now, I love all the early Monte Carlos. I mean, all the 73, 74, 75. They have slightly different taillights than in 75. But I love the classics with the round headlights. It's just an iconic uh, car to lowrider, I think. But... So this car looks like a 77 and the reason why is Mario Martinez bought this car wrecked. It was a 73 different fenders. That's a 73 uh, bumper by the way. They changed it too. But um, it was a 73 that was wrecked and he bought it for 500 bucks and then he put a 77 front on and a 76 rear, I think from the rear quarters, everything back is different. So uh, that being said, first of all, if you guys get confused and think it looks like a 77, no. It's an early Monte Carlo, it's a 73. The other thing is that whoever that guy was on the East Coast who said, they bought the car, they needed to look for another body because the body was so bad. And there were like three, like three inches of Bondo on the car. I don't really, you know, I've, like, I didn't see any of that. He didn't post any of that. But what I know is that car was in an accident. And later on, there's a lot of bodywork. Even if it looks kind of stuck to you, there's a lot of bodywork, okay? The fenders are different, the, the, the whole rear is different. Um, he molded in so many things. Of course, there's gonna be Bondo. But, um, and then in the meantime, I think it showed up in like, like 2013 or something. And then again in 2016, I think that car was stored too, you know, and it gets hot and cold and of course like the Bondo cracks, but I don't know, to put stuff like this online, I, I don't know if it's cool or not, okay? So uh, that being said, I probably find some, some photos and post it all over, but um, 
it's really an iconic car and I love it. And I think everybody who grew up in the 90s saw that car and just was just amazed because it's that, that tangerine, that deep metal flick, it's, it's crazy. It's like a really nice looking car. So sorry, it's already like five minutes in, probably you skipped ahead, but let's, let's get this started, okay? So here are the letters. Let me know if you are one of those people who sent a letter in. And always thank you for all the guys who tell me that they were featured in a magazine. I try to look it up or if you were featured in a magazine that I featured, let me know and I, you know, I mention you, okay? Awesome shirts, Fuchs wheels. Okay, also, sorry, I shouldn't only talk about a lethal weapon. That was Lowrider Truck of the Year in 89. And uh, talking about like really nice cars that just, you walked up and you were just like, wow, just wow, this thing is so pretty. First of all, I, I love the 50, I think those are 15 inches. Second of all, the paint, and then everything, everything chrome or gold. The lowered hood, the custom grill, so cool. Everything chromed, beautiful car, beautiful car. I don't know if this car is also owned. There's this guy on Instagram, he is, is, his handle is Festus Garage, I think, and he owns a couple of Lowrider of the Years. I don't know if he also owns that or not. Maybe my memory tricks me, but I think he maybe owns that one too. Uh, uh, by the way, somewhere, I just saw it, I don't know. Uh, somewhere it said, oh no, it's probably here, uh, that the owner spent 50 grand in 88, 89, so if you do the inflation calculator, I maybe do it and post it somewhere over here. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money, but it's such a beautiful truck. Usually I'm not into into mini trucks. If you watch my other videos, you probably hate me, but this one is really pretty and just like so 80s. I love the paint, everything. Here, so you can pause that. Beautiful car, it's just beautiful. Everything about it is beautiful. Okay, so we have the portable show. Nice 56. Nice, what is that, a Malibu? I love those hubcaps. Wow, a Nissan 300, crazy, what cool cars. Beautiful Lincoln, is that a Lincoln? Yeah, it's a Lincoln Mark IV, beautiful. Dream car. Nice fastback Chevy. old beautiful I love those rear windows another Lincoln wow beautiful 63 just clean looking nice candy red Oh man, that's a 62, sorry, I'm the worst. There you can pause and read it if you wanna. It's 
sorry. Now I mix stuff up. Crazy the 80s, the style. Okay, there we have a beautiful 65. That looks like a 65. I don't know. Beautiful metal flake. Paint shop. Nice graphics on it. Nice car. Nice detail. Everything chrome. Magalines. Sometimes those Magalines look good, I think. Especially in like a, you know, 80s, 90s build. That, that looks cool, I think. More advertising. Baldwin Park. Beautiful Cadillac. Sorry, there's my cat again, sorry. Yeah, this guy shows no respect. Okay, sorry, usually I don't cut those videos, but today I had to cut it because my cat just looks for trouble. So there we have another beautiful Lincoln. Nice truck, nice 48, wow, crazy with the mini trucks. And there we have the 89 Los Angeles Super Show, wow. That's good looking. Nice bike. I think that was the car that was featured earlier, the this, this 72. There we have a E30 BMW. Beautiful paint on that mini truck. Beautiful. It's just clean and simple. Wow. Station wagon. Wow, crazy for you. I think that car is still around, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Crazy. That almost looks like that car that's now in Japan and he hops it all the time. But I don't I'm 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 not sure. This car is also still around. And I even think he now he has like a tilt front end. If that's the same car, please please help me out, but I think that's the same car. There we have a beautiful Monte Carlo. Beautiful odd thing. I believe this is still around. But he changed the paint. It's a lifestyle thing. Uh, a lifestyle car club car, uh, car, I think. Beautiful bond. Wow, Plymouth. Wow, you don't see those so often. Some more and dual carburetors. Oh, that stove bolt. Beautiful 69. I think that car might still be around too, if I'm right. Or maybe something that's almost painted the same way. There's an all red one, I think that's around. And then there's a, a car from Click that's also a black with a beautiful roof. But I think 
that's just built recently and uh, painted by Denny D. Oh, the 5903. Wow. Hollywood top Camaro. You don't see that no more. Wow. And green with envy. Also lifestyle car. Beautiful car. Beautiful car. I, I love this thing. The paint, everything. It's just, it's just so cool. This is one of the reasons why I didn't go after a glass house and I have a 71 Chevy Impala because of that roof. I always, that thing still hangs up in my room and it's yeah, beautiful. It's still around, I think the sun has it now. Beautiful car, there we have a pretty T-Bird which I'm sure is still around as a lifestyle car. Wow, cool, look at that tail light, awesome, that's a Pontiac or, I have no clue, I mean that's a Pontiac, and always like that, I think it made Lowrider cover car twice, once in the early 90s, like in 92 and then again in like 98 or something it's a beautiful car there we have some hoppers with weld wheels on and bad dancers again with with center lines and stock hubcaps and steelies. Oh yeah, sorry, that uh, center fold was in my room for a long time on the wall. Beautiful, beautiful Lincoln. That car is still around. Sorry, I have it featured. Uh, no, I have the magazine. And I'm gonna feature it soon. Look at that little mole. Eh? That's cool. Beautiful, beautiful lifestyle car. That is also beautiful. I think this car is still around. Okay, there you go. So now, sorry for the rips and everything. Mario Martinez lethal weapon. And as I said in the beginning, he bought it for 500 bucks. It was a 73. It's still listed as a 73. But, um,. He molded a lot of stuff. It's a 77 front clip. The rear, I think, he cut it somewhere over here. You can see that in some of the photos. I think if I remember right, I tried to, to find all the photos and, and post some. How it looked a couple of years where it was all over the interwebs. But, um, really beautiful car. Later he changed that. It said lethal weapon in there, I think. And it's just sad how it ended up. Someone said that Mario Martinez bought it and he's gonna restore it. I think that was just a myth or someone like saying that. Um, so again, the car changed hands. Some went in the 2000s and it ended up on the East Coast and it said on on lay low that when they unloaded it and they saw how the car looked um, he lost interest and then it was in storage the brother said all all those things that the car 
the body was so horrible so they had to look for another car to get the body so now you see those photos that are the hood and the trunk and all that it's still painted but the the body looks all like bare metal yes because that's a whole different body then also the later owner said that um, there's so much bondo on the car again that car uh, was a wrecked car and it was built for show so they probably had to mold stuff in and it, it just had a you, you know how they skimmed those cars back then. So, yeah, that being said, I, I still think it's a pretty car. And it's sad that it's sitting somewhere on the tarp, what I heard. I don't know if it's still like this, but I heard that like a year ago. And someone said they are using, someone uses the parts off of it to build a dunk. I also don't know if that's true or not. So I'm just going to show you some details, the interior, it's just beautiful, beautiful. So there you have, it says he bought it for, for 500 bucks, but I think he invested over 30 grand. And if you think about it, that's like in the late 80s, if you convert that, that must be like crazy money with the inflation. So today that probably is, I don't know, I put it somewhere over here in the corner. It's it's probably gonna be like really big money, like 50, 60, 70,000, but beautiful car. And I just wanna say that real quick. You know, I loved, oh, I love all the stuff nowadays all the heavy engraved everything everything chromed everything just super cool but back then like if you compare that car to like i don't know like a uh, whatever double trouble from from our m series where just everything is engraved and just over the top i think this this looks so simple, but it still looks so good. There you see how he did the trunk. Yeah, and then also, I don't know if I can screenshot that or maybe put that here. That's the same car. As, as I said, they used it in a couple of, of ads, if I remember that right, uh, through the years. But um, that one guy also said that um, the only good thing on the car was the trunk, the, the, the trunk lid and the hood and the rest was all horrible. And you see those, those photos where everything was inside, I think, if I remember right. And I don't know, it's just horrible. But... Um, yeah, here he said uh, close to 30 grand. So I'm just gonna convert that. Maybe I already posted it or not, but so just that you guys know. I really wanna know how our M series is doing that, you know, building two crazy cars because both cars are just over the top and I don't, I don't even wanna know how much he put in that, you know, how much, but that's gonna be a whole different video all the different versions of Double Trouble. First it was pink, then it was, it's just crazy, but so, so, so cool, you know, like that someone has so much dedication and so much love for that. So there again, we have Lethal Weapon. Nice bump. Corvette, you always seen those C4 Corvettes at those shows back then. Beautiful Malibu. Nice glass house. Wow, 
Wow, flat nose Porsche. Cool. Nice truck. Beautiful. Nice paint. Wow, so many cars from the Los Angeles Super Show. Cool. That looks like almost he has square headlights in the front. And there is a car that's now in Japan with, with square headlights. A Monte with square headlights. I tried to find that magazine, I gotta show that. Uh, to you guys too. I don't know if you want to. Let's let's keep it like child friendly. Okay, gold medal. I love the color combination. You can pause it if you wanna. Show beautiful chopper, beautiful chopper, Frisco style chopper. You don't see that no more at a lowrider show. There, beautiful. What a good looking car. Pink Panther. Don't ask me what that is. I would see like a Nissan. Does it say what it is? An 87 Hyundai. Okay. And the Chevy Beretta. Okay, mailbox. Nice T1 bus. Nice Grand Prix. Nice bicycle. Cool. Hell yeah, on Supremes. What a good looking car. See, I love that roof line. That's the. Oh, it looks like a Mazda RX-7. Maybe it's a Fiero, something. I don't know. Sorry, my belly is making noises. Beautiful. Uh, I, I can't really tell what those are. You probably know. Let me know in the comments. And that thing is nice, that 68 Custom Coupe. Always love those. Cool. A gentle glove. Beautiful Camaro. Red Camaro. That's an old. Nice cars. I like that Firebird. Nice Cadillac. Beautiful. Love lines. If you want to pause, pause. Again. Wow. Nice Regal. Nice paint.
the day the music died. What really, that looks like a Volkswagen, maybe Passat, Quantum or whatever. That happened to me. I, I went to a junkyard with my 68 Chevy Impala. I parked it there and I was thinking, yeah, right. No one's gonna steal nothing from me. I usually steal shit, but uh, yeah, I come back and no radio. That, that bothered me. That really bothered me. And you know, like you don't take the hubcaps, but you take like a cheap, I had like the cheapest Radio Shack radio at the time or something like $19 or whatever. And, and someone rips it out and even like ripped everything out. So all the wires were all, all over the place, man. Yeah. Nice art. That looks good. Okay, almost 20 minutes. I, I probably gonna, yeah, um, uh, cut it a little bit because somewhere in, in, in that video, my cat jumped in. But uh, thanks guys for watching. If you like it, subscribe, hit the like so more people see it. I always see that in other people's YouTube videos that they all tell you, hey, hit the like and do the subscribe and I don't want to be like this. But you know, it actually helps because the more guys like that, the more people see it because then it gets featured by YouTube. And uh, yeah, would be cool, you know. I just want to share lowrider history and share like my knowledge a little bit about cars. I also in the future gonna do something about engine building if you are into that and maybe some bump parts. I'm not really the best in that but I I can tell you a little bit about it okay and show you some of my my gems that I have okay. So that being said have a nice day thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.